Okay, so it is officially six days out from the show. Um, so enter peak week now, and this is where things start to get a little different. Now, I am in work today, so the plan for today is going to be a carb depletion. So I'm going to be lowering my carbs, um, but I'm going to sort of like taper into that. Um, so the plan for today is literally um, have the egg and egg white omelette, which I've been having every day, um, and then the noodles, and then from then on just meat and vegetables for my protein sources. So carbs are going to be brought down somewhere between 100 and 100 so I'd say, maybe 120 or something like that. Um, literally just deplete the amount of my body. Um, going to hit the gym um, later on. Um, and yeah, that's the plan. Um, I'm going to try and get into a more detailed explanation as to why that I'm going to be doing that uh, later on. Um, but for now, I'll take you through a full day of eating, of what I'm eating, six days out. First meal. Okay, so ready for work. Um, and I'm going to have myself an apple um, after that breakfast. And then I'm going to add about 200 grams of this cooked chicken into the noodles and that's going to be my lunch. So I've just done my um, typical cross training warm up for about 5 minutes uh, and now I'm just going to move on to the leg press my first exercise of this uh, carb depletion leg workout. So guys, hello and welcome to my Peak Week Explained video series. Um, where I'm going to take you exactly through what I did during my peak week and the methods that you could also use. Now, I think it's um, of importance that I actually talk about what a peak week is. So a peak week is essentially the week before um, a particular event in which you want to look your best. Um, that could be a thing such as a show or a photo shoot. Now, I also think it's very important to say um, that no magic happens in peak week. Uh, all the work is really re done before and it's really just about adding that cherry to the top little features and just manipulating the body to make it look maybe 5 to 10% better than it did previously. So, uh, one of the first things that you do, or that I did during a peak week, is a carb depletion period. Now, a carb depletion period is essentially where you want to deplete your body of carbs. Um, so you do that using a variety of methods. I think it's important first that we just talk about why you'd want to do a carb depletion workout and what benefits it could produce. So your muscles um, are made up of glycogen, part partly. And what glycogen is, is essentially stored carbohydrates. Now, during a carb depletion period of time, what you want to do is you want to burn up all of your glycogen stores and essentially leave your muscles depleted of glycogen. So why would you want to do that? Well, by doing that, essentially what you are doing uh, is ensuring that there's no carbs left in the muscle. Now, this means that when you go and add carbs back in, um, you're going to fill out more and they're going to be fuller than they would have been previously. Um, and that's just gonna give you the one the, the best look for that event that you can achieve. Another reason for car depletion workouts that spe specifically applies to me and maybe other people that may have not got that lean is it's essentially a period of time in which you can really, really drop those carbs low and calories low and get into a big deficit and just try and shift that last bit of fat. Now, this wouldn't be the case <clears throat> for people that are super shredded. You know, I'm talking Matt Ogus, Lean, Team 3DMJ, all them guys. Simply because when you get to that uh, true bodybuilding contest lean, which I myself don't believe I did, um, then you are going to be exceptionally depleted of glycogen. Um, so at that point, it really is an option that you may or may not decide to do. So now we've got the reason for the carb depletion period of time out of the way. We're going to talk about how I went about it and how you could go about it too. And the variety of ways that potentially you could do it. So essentially what I did is I did it um, over a period of three days. Now the first day I opted for about 150 grams of carbs. 
the second day, uh, I then opted, opted for just carbs from vegetables, which resulted in me having sub 100. And the third day, I did pretty much the same thing. So during a carb depletion phase, what you might actually do is do some carb depletion workouts. Now, what are carb depletion workouts? Carb depletion workouts are what they say on the tin in that you're just trying to really burn up all the glycogen cells in your muscles. So how do you go about doing that? Well, what I did is I, I did high rep sets, lots of sets, uh, and also a short rest time. And that's just really gonna burn through that glycogen. Um, and essentially what I also did was cardio as well. Um, so just to leave like uh, nothing left. That's the goal essentially. So I also changed my training slightly. So as I mentioned in a previous video, uh, I was following sort of um, a four day split. However, I was trying to hit muscles more frequently and directly. Um, but you can see, watch that, an explanation for that in the previous clip videos. Actually for the last two days, I changed to an upper lower split. Um, and that just made sure literally you in them during that three day carb depletion period, you just really gonna absolutely get rid of everything left in the muscles. But that's pretty much got all grounds covered. Um, I hope a lot of you now are more aware of why to do a carb depletion workout. Um, and obviously stay tuned for the rest of my peak week explained. I hope you guys learned something and I hope um, this has been of value to you. And if you've got any questions, please hit me up because I'll, I'd love to do a follow up video um, if anything wasn't clear. Right, that's gonna wrap all that up. Enjoy the rest of the footage and stay tuned. Okay, so I finished at the gym, um, and for breakfast I had the typical meal that I've been having quite a lot. The eggs and egg white omelette with mushrooms and tomatoes and spinach. And I also had 250 grams of strawberries, so macros on the screen for that. Obviously we're doing a carb depletion day, so the carbs are really low. So I'm going to have this packet of mushroom stir fry veg, and with some chicken in it, so I'll get that made now. So there's a the meal, uh, so I added one egg and three egg whites so that's up the protein because I only had 110 grams of chicken so I'm gonna add some hot sauce to that and then that's gonna be my meal okay guys so um, my third meal if you want to call it that um, on this carb depletion day is this salad right here um, so I've got in it 100 grams of chicken and then it's like a pre-packaged Aldi um, salad and I've added some tomatoes to it as well um, and also balsamic vinegar uh, as a dressing so all that is uh, 200 calories so hardly a meal but hopefully it'll keep me going uh, I've saved some fats for later um, just because I feel like if I have my fats before bed I'll have um, a better sleep because um, I'll be fuller um, but yeah I'm gonna eat this and um, show you guys the last meal okay so it's about half ten and I'm about to have my final meal so I'll show you uh, I'm finishing off um, the rest of that Aldi salmon um, sorry Aldi salad added some tomatoes and some beetroot a bit of salmon and a bit of chicken so my total macros for the day and the macros macros for the meal will be on the screen my total macros for the day are here we go See that? 97 carb, 53 fat, and 171 protein. So that's day one of depletion, carb depletion macros finished off, and then we'll go tomorrow. Maybe try and get carbs a bit lower, like 80 grams, but probably about the same. So, successful day. Hopefully I can sleep, because anyone who's on low carb will know. And all dieting, you sometimes get trouble sleeping because you're so fucking hungry. Anyway. That's going to conclude this video probably, so 
hope I've informed you on to how fucking to or how I do a carb low carb day and if you want to take anything from this it's probably eat a fuck eat a load of salad peace